In this video we will see how to import STL or OBJ files created in external packages such as Rhino or SolidWorks. And then how to resize with Calipers Master and how export to NetFat to check measurements. First thing we should do is set the initial scale of the scene before importing anything. This way we will work under reasonable ZBrush sizes within a calibrated scene scale. For example let's use this default ZBrush plane to establish the initial scale. Just select any axis you like and press bounding calipers. Let's enter an initial size of 50mm for this example. So now the scene has been calibrated and any real size object will be imported according to this new scene scale. Let's duplicate this plane before using the 3D print exported plugin to import a STL. This way the imported mesh will overwrite the duplicated mesh. Thanks to Asaf Jacobs for sending this nice rings created in Rhino. Ok now let's check the bounding size in X using bounding calipers constrained in X. As we see the ring was originally created at 22mm on its bounding size in X. Let's check the original STL using NetFab Basic. As we see this ring has same length in NetFaz and ZBrush when imported in a calibrated scene. Let's import another ring. First him duplicating a sub tool to override it, so we don't lose any of the imported meshes before. Let's use 3D printer exporter to import a new ring. Now let's measure its bounding size in X axis using bounding calipers. Ok as we see it has been imported in a reasonable size. But let's check the original STL using NetFab. As we see the length size is same as in ZBrush calibrated scene. Ok now let's see how we could resize our ring. The traditional way would be duplicate the object and scale it manually. But we can do it faster and more accurate using duplicate and resize feature. First thing we should do is to depict the initial size with a caliper on the object we want to duplicate and resize. As we already have the bounding caliper in X and we know that its size is 20.51mm, we can now enter a new desired value. Let's enter 22mm and press duplicate and resize button. We can see that it automatically appends a duplicated version scaled up. Let's check its size with bounding calipers in X. As desired, it is now 22mm instead of 20.51. Let's export the new resize drain using the new export options available in this version. Just press export and the ring will be exported in OBJ, with no pulley groups or UVs in this case. Ok now let's check the size using NetFab. Just drag and dropping the OBJ file in the previous scene to compare. As expected the new resized ring in OBJ is 22mm. So no matter if STL or OBJ the exported meshes using calibrated scenes with Gallopers Master will always match your measurements. This is all for the basic workflow importing and exporting using Calipers Master. If you enjoyed this video give thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials about Calipers Master version 2. Stay tuned on hazardbrush.xyz and feel free to join our Calibers Master Group on Facebook. Happy calibering!